Hey everybody, welcome back. Alex here. Uh, I did put up a video a couple of days ago about the monitors. I had a three monitor setup, kind of like this, but a little bit differently. And some of you had some suggestions about what to do. So I decided to do another test. And this one is a little bit different. Uh, this is according to one of your recommendations or suggestions to try out. And I'm curious myself. Now I have a feeling I know what's going to happen, but I'm still really curious to find out and do the test because this is not, I don't think this is documented anywhere. So I've got three monitors. These are all 27 inch 4K monitors plugged into this M1 Max MacBook Pro. And yes, you caught me. I'm actually transitioning from my main machine, which is under the desk over there to uh, this one. So I'm slowly moving over. I'm not quite ready yet. I'm still keeping it there, but I'm not, uh, but I'm, I'm trying it out. Giving it a good old college try, as they say. So I'm not gonna have three monitors hooked up. I usually use two monitors, two 27s, right? Like this. This one I hooked up just for this test. That's why it's so awkwardly sitting there on the side. I've plugged in these two main monitors with my hub. This is a OWC Thunderbolt 4 hub, just like I did in that test. And this one is plugged in on, a, on the Mac itself. I'm also using the HDMI output from the Mac to uh, record the screen. And I'm using the built-in display as well. So what I wanna do today is build the Xcode benchmark test. And you've seen me do this many times before. This is just kind of a, a test to see how quickly the machine builds this project. Of course, Maxim Yerimenko put this together. Very nice job. If you're interested and curious, you can run this yourself. I'll drop a link in the description. So I already had this on my machine. I'm gonna run it like this, but here's the kicker. After this, I'm going to run it slightly differently. I'm going to plug my MacBook Pro in. And I'm not gonna just plug it in. I'm gonna plug it into the 140 watt adapter that it comes with. So I'm gonna use the MagSafe, plug it in, and see if the extra kick of juice, kick of juice, the extra jolt that I might get from the 140 is going to change anything because I'm really using up system resources here. The GPU is being pushed quite a bit here. Will the extra power, the extra wattage make a difference in our benchmark test? Let's do this. Okay, the first test ran and it's to be expected. It's kind of uh, very similar to the results I got before uh, when I had the three monitors plugged in. It's not the fastest that this machine can build this project. The fastest I had was about uh, 89 seconds. 109 is what I got here as a result. And I'm gonna do it one more time just to make sure that everything is consistent. So let's do it. Well, um, okay, I ran that again and I'm glad I did because this time I got 92 seconds. Seemingly, this uh, monitor setup is not phasing the M1 Max. And by the way, this is another reason why you might want to get the M1 Max, is if you were having a crazy monitor setup like this. I don't even use this crazy monitor setup. This is too much. I mean, I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five different outputs. I don't think that's necessary for a lot of people, but for some people it might be. And for those people, you might want to consider the max, but otherwise it's a little bit overkill and I'll make a separate video on that. Now, 92 is interesting. Okay, let's, uh, let's do it again because those numbers were so different that I want to get an average. And after that, I'll plug it in and we'll give our coffee a little bit more milk. And we landed right in the middle, 99 seconds for this third run. So the variation in the number of seconds that this takes is quite uh, different than what I've seen when there are no monitors plugged into the machine. Just something to keep in mind. However, the average is about the same. It's, the average is around high 90s. Now let's put some jet fuel into our jet. Ugh, stop it already, jeez. Okay, we're gonna plug it in and then we'll see if that changes uh, the numbers. Ah. That feels nice, MagSafe. By the way, I never use MagSafe anymore since the monitors just power the machine while it's on my desk. But after this test, maybe I will, depending on the performance increase that I see or not. We'll see. And we are off. Now I know some of you might ask, so I'm gonna look this up right now. And if we go to, I guess battery, if we go to look at power adapter, I am on high power energy mode right now. That's my settings. I keep uh, the battery energy mode on automatic and the energy mode when plugged in on high power. Why not? Also, we are hitting 91 degrees Celsius on this uh, processor and this fan is spinning at 1600 RPM, even though I don't hear it. I'm actually hearing the Intel iMac from under my desk. I'm not hearing this one. It's pretty nice. It's quiet machine. You might've caught my video on fan noise and I had uh, four machines up comparing them all, including this one. And this is the loudest machine if you max out the fans using this software. And this is uh, 
TG Pro, a link down below if you're curious to check out the trial. So this software allows you to max out the fans synthetically. And if you do that, yeah, it's gonna be loud. Okay, we're done. That took 102 seconds, folks. So we did not see any improvement in the speed. Given the tradition on this channel, I do wanna play uh, a Linus video. This is a new tradition, actually because Linus needs more views, and I'm gonna play it in 4K on all these monitors, and we're gonna see if uh, if we can slow things down a bit, and by how much. I'm gonna full screen all these Linus videos on all the monitors, and hopefully uh, we can maintain a 4K connection. Okay, I've got this playing on all my monitors, and that's 4K here, 4K here, 4K here, and this one's playing at 4K too. So now I just gotta go back here and run this project one more time. Let's see how much this drags down the performance. YouTube is gonna think I'm some kind of bot, block my IP or something. <laughs> not bad, folks, not bad. We're down to 115 seconds. I would say that that is an acceptable degradation. Now, it's up to you to decide what you do, but for me, watching four 4K videos while building the project and still getting a few seconds off, not bad. Now, there is one more thing I wanna do, and that's scaling. This is another one of your suggestions, folks. I wanna scale all these monitors. Right now, I have them scaled to 1440, which is actually what I prefer, even though these are capable of 4K. The 1440 resolution seems more natural and more in line with the scaling that is provided out of the box from the machines, from the uh, MacBooks. In other words, the menu sizes are all the same. I will scale all these to 4K. And they're all running now at 4K scaling, 60 Hertz, and they're all running in HDR. So while that's all scaled, I want to run this one more time, and I want to keep an eye on the memory usage and the CPU. So we're gonna do that uh, right now. It's running, I got the videos started again, all from the beginning, all at 4K and 4K scaling. I'm gonna say that this is gonna be a little bit slower still, but we'll see. Let's take a look at the memory. So this is consuming 31 gigabytes of RAM, zero swap being used, so that's pretty cool. It's the benefit of having more RAM. This is a 64 gigabyte RAM machine very little being used and even on the GPU you can see that this is only using 12.6% 13% of the GPU so I guess this is not a very intensive test for these machines to handle there is a slowdown but it's not significant oh oh did I say that too soon what why did my video stop playing yeah my video stopped playing okay let's play that again and check the memory okay we're still about the same Okay, the GPU is kicked up now to 23. But folks, the build time came back at 107. And I mean, I, I had to fulfill my curiosity, but I feel like we came full circle because we started out with 109 and we're back at 107. Anyway, if you found this video helpful or entertaining, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you uh, like this haircut that I did myself, which is pretty bad, my wife hates it, also give me a thumbs up or leave a comment down below. I'll see you next time, folks.